There's a new study that just came out about how people's hearts and minds are changed on LGBT issues, and I am not remotely surprised by the outcome. I've been saying it pretty much for a couple of years now. About a year ago, Jim Bozinski at Outsports and I tried to figure out what we should be focusing on for the next year, and we decided one key thing. Tell the stories of as many LGBT athletes as we possibly could for a couple reasons. One, it creates a domino effect. When somebody reads a story, they're more likely to come out. And number two, when straight people read the stories of LGBT athletes and coaches, they're more likely to empathize with our movement. The study says just that, that when people interact with LGBT people, when they read their stories, when they hear their stories, their hearts and minds change in a way that it does not change when they hear from straight people saying that they support LGBT people. The role of straight people in our movement is super important. Their role is to open doors for LGBT people, not to be our spokesperson, not to go on national TV and say how much they like us. That's all lovely, but it really doesn't help us at all. Their job is to open up opportunities. Their job is to contact colleges and make sure that LGBT athletes and other LGBT people in the movement are heard from. Their job, frankly, is in the NFL. Some owners got to step up and, and be that guy to say, be the branch Ricky of the NFL to say, Michael Sam is going to get an opportunity. He is going to play in the NFL in the regular season right now. That's what we need from straight people. We don't need them to be the faces of the movement. We don't need them to tell everyone how much they like us. We need them to open up real concrete opportunities for us to be ourselves and to share our stories. That's how things change. A great example is Patrick Burke. Patrick Burke, yes, is in the media quite a bit, but he also opens up opportunities for LGBT people. His organization, You Can Play, he stepped down, hired Wade Davis, who's an out gay black man. Uh, in his, his Invisible Athlete Forum, he's the moderator, it, it, but it's designed to bring in other LGBT athletes to sit on a panel to talk about their stories. Patrick Burke is just a great example of what a straight person can do in opening up opportunities. This word ally, which I've come to despise, straight people don't need to be allies. They don't need a special term to describe them, a special badge. I don't need a, a badge. I'm not an ally of black people or women. They can tell me whether I'm doing a good job. I don't get to wear this badge of honor because I decided to wear it. So thank you to all those straight people who are opening up doors for LGBT athletes and coaches to tell their own stories. And we look forward to Outsports to telling a lot more of those stories ourselves.